You guys are sick, you know that? I think you just like to watch a man suffer because in our last video, our top comment was from Sniper Never Misses, saying that they want us to get the M82 done, but we can't use any attachments and we can only use four perks on Firebase C, so that's what we're doing today. They also threw us a bone and said we were allowed to upgrade our pistol class, so I went ahead and did that. And this is our M82 build that we're going to be using today. But if you want to leave any sick and twisted challenges, suggestions, or upgrade suggestions, go ahead and leave it down in a comment below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already done, so make sure you check it out first. That way you don't get any repeats. All right, time to hop into Firebase C, which could be either the longest or the shortest game I've ever played. Because with no attachments on this, I have no idea how long we're even going to be able to like survive. Because when I was leveling this thing up a bit in Outbreak, it seemed like after Outbreak Wave 1, it was not even one-shotting zombies. So we're going to have to really stay on top of us upgrading our weapon, not only with Pack-A-Punch, but with the Scrap. And I'm thinking like near round 30, it's going to be like unusable. So we might have to play multiple games. And on top of that, we kind of have to strategize of what perks we're going to use. Because our quick revive here, I don't have that tiered up enough to even revive myself. So I might have to waste a slot on Tombstone, which really sucks. But the good news is that this sniper is semi-auto. So I think I can at least use Ring of Fire for a bit. So at least it's not as bad as the ZRG, where it's literally just nothing can help it out. Even the attachments don't even speed it up that much. But outside of Tombstone... If we do end up using that, honestly, it'd probably be faster just to go down and restart. But I think I'm going to use Deadshot. I, not I think. I will use Deadshot. I was thinking maybe Speed Cola, but honestly, in this game, Speed Cola seems like it doesn't do a whole lot. So I don't know if it's worth it to waste a slot on that. I think we should pick up Jug because that's like my only tier 5 perk that I have. You know, we can get some use out of that. After that, I don't know. I honestly don't think these perks are going to help us out a whole lot besides Deadshot, as you can tell by my aim there. I guess we'll take a better look at it once we got the, the Wonder Fizz up and running. But we mentioned getting this leveled up on Outbreak, and I've been trying to stream it, but I've been fighting with my ISP. It seems like whenever I start streaming, you know, for the first hour, it'll be fine. You know, we'll have like no issues or relatively low issues. And all of a sudden we hit the hour mark. And then everything just goes to shit. Like, I, I'm at war with my, my ISP right now because they think I'm some, like, geriatric person who doesn't know what internet is. And they can just throttle the shit out of me and I won't notice. But I am noticing. And I'm putting them on notice. I've been calling them, like, every day, making sure that they know that I know what they're doing. Hold on. Hold that thought. Grind the rail. Clean. I feel like if you don't let them know every once in a while that you pay attention to your stuff, they're going to start like limiting your, your speeds and your bandwidth. At least that's my theory. Because I've been moved into this house for like I don't know, a month or two, maybe three months now. And you know, they gave me the grace period of like, oh, we got this shiny new internet. It's going to be fine. And then they're like, okay, th that grace period's over with. Let's go ahead and throttle them and see if they notice. So if you've been wondering why the streams have been like ending at random times, it's because like the, the lag compounds itself and it, it adds in such an insane delay. Like we are having like a t almost a 10 minute delay on our last stream, which is crazy. So hopefully they, they see that I'm not going to sit here and get dicked around and uh, we can go back to having streams. As for right now, it's kind of fucked. It's like, I, I want to start streaming Cold War, and then the whole hacker situation happens. So it's like, okay, I got, let me make this account and like blur out my name. Now that whole situation's over with. And now my, my ISP is like, you know what? Let's step in here and make it even worse for you to try to stream this game. It's like every time I, I want to hop back into it, something's telling me I shouldn't. But I'm gonna fight against it because I've been really liking coming back to zombies and it seems like there's a bunch of new and exciting stuff happening. I mean, not that new because, you know, I've played this game a bunch, but with this game going free to play pretty soon, I feel like there's gonna be a lot more people hopping on here and trying out Cold War zombies or just Cold War in general if they haven't. You know, it'll be a nice little uh, resurgence for this game. Not like it was dead, but maybe you'll see some some good numbers in terms of like player count. And that just warms my heart because this is like my favorite COD game, maybe of all time. And then outside of that, Noah J's running this like map making contest for BO3. So it's a lot of like really nice custom maps coming out and I think I might check them out. Like I'm glad that zombies getting some sort of love. It, it, it's real nice to see. Let's grind this rail too. Oh, I'm too nasty with it. But I am a little worried for Modern Warfare 3 because it's been, I don't know, leaked, confirmed. I don't know if it's been actually confirmed that there's going to be zombies in the game. But from everything I've heard, it's going to be like an outbreak type mode added in the Modern Warfare 3. And I hope it doesn't ruin the momentum zombies has going right now. Because it was like the same thing with like Vanguard. It felt like Cold War was doing really well in terms of like 
you know, bringing back the zombies community a bit. Even if people didn't really like the gameplay of Cold War, I thought it was too easy. They're still interested in like what was going on in the story. And then Vanguard comes out and it just stomps all that momentum, just releasing a, a, a kind of half-assed game mode. Like they just kind of squeeze it in there just to say on like the box cover, like, and it includes zombies. So I hope this is another play like that. And you know, we, we get something like semi-decent. Like I don't have my hopes like very high up. Like it's not gonna be some crazy new mode, but I, I wanna see what they can do. I wanna see if they, they can see how the community reacted to Vanguard zombies and be like, okay, that wasn't good enough. We need to do something different here. Or maybe they just backslide and we have to wait till Treyarch can get their full game out. But I guess time will tell. Well, let's go ahead and grab Pack-A-Punch. We can start working on our Pack-A-Punch kills. We'll save up a little bit for Deadshot and then we'll all go ahead and do our Jug Easter egg. But while we're waiting to save up, maybe we should see what other perks we want. So for sure Deadshot, for sure Jug. Does anything else help me out here? Elemental Pop will take away my kills for camos. Stamina up. I mean... Maybe I'll be camping for a bit, but I, I don't think I'll be able to stay in kernels forever. Death reception doesn't really help me at all since it's not upgraded. So honestly, this four perk thing, it limiting me. I feel like I'm already limited just using those perks. So it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. And we have a crawler. So you know what? Uh, let's grab Deadshot and go do our juggy strike. And let's see if the bunny will come over here. Go ahead. Don't be shy. There we go. Now come on over here, bunny. Perfect. And let's just go ahead and speed this up. We got one last bunny to get. Did I get it? Or the mimic pull me out of it? Nope. Pull me out of it. There we go. Later, losers. Clean. I'll be taking jug. And I'm going to need all this scrap. Also, you might have noticed there's a little bit of a gap between uploads uh, between this video and my last video I put out. And that's because uh, my girlfriend and I went and adopted two little kittens. I wanted to name them Walt and Jesse, but uh, that was vetoed. I'll still call them that sometimes, but uh, their their names are Pineapple and Strawberry. They're very cute little kittens. They're still a little skittish because they're in a new area. You know, it's their first home they've been in. They're at uh, a rescue place before this, but I think they're starting to warm up a bit. Uh, maybe in future videos, I'll bring them up to the camera and everything, but they're still like just in their little room. Like they're still getting used to the place, but it's very nice having some pets in the house. You know, it felt like it was missing something and it's just been very fun, like watching them. Like sometimes they'll, they'll feel comfortable enough to come out and like play. And today they're like wrestling with each other and running all over the place. It's a lot of fun. Pretty cool having some cats running around. Dude, honestly, Pack-A-Punch in this thing helps out way more than I thought because it completely doubles my mag size. Going to this like default, it's only five bullets in the mag. When you Pack-A-Punch it, going to 10, it just helps out so much. And honestly, I still think I can take out Orta like pretty easily with this. No attachments needed. Dude's gonna get fucked up regardless. I still don't even know what perk to grab. I guess I'll grab stamina up. Why not? It'll help out a bit. I can get out of a situation faster. It's probably better for me. It almost looks like we're doing the rainbow perk challenge. If I didn't buy Deadshot first. But the, the one thing I dislike about this game. Oh shit. Okay. I had to start talking as I go down. I heard that I said I dislike something and it said dislike this. So that's another thing we're going to have to save up for. Maybe I will have to buy Tombstone. But the thing I dislike about this game is that it puts like your perks not in the order that you bought them sometimes. Like if you buy Quick Revive, it always slides its way up to the front. So you can never really do like a, a full rainbow perk challenge. Like you can buy them in that order, but they won't stay in that order. And it would just look so satisfying to see all those perks lined up in the correct color order because having no perk limit and just every single perk on the bottom there is already like cool enough but let me see every perk let me see it in the right order so i guess i'll get stamina back and i'll grab tombstone as much as i i feel like it's a waste of points better than just completely restarting i guess until we hit a certain point because right now we can kill these zombies just fine. I just need to be a little smarter about it. But once we reach the point where uh, they're not going down as easy, even with headshots, then I would not mind restarting the game. Let's see how long we can last in kernels with this. Because with Ring of Fire, I'm sure we'll be fine. Without it is where I'm a little concerned. Gentlemen, I got no time for kisses today. We got a mission to complete. Okay. It's already seeming like... It's not going to work. Also, semen. That's another word for cum. I guess we're going to have to find out next round if uh, we can change our strategy up a bit. We're going to go do a quick uh, salt wave. Hope we can get this to blue. And now we just need to save up our blue scrap. Oh, shit. Please don't knock me. I don't want to tombstone myself. Oh, we actually did it. 
Barely. That thing was at no health. Now look, I've been throwing this theory out here for a while, but I'm almost positive this game will drop you a max ammo when you need it the least. And since we just got a max ammo from that assault wave, we're gonna get one real soon. Okay, double points. Bonus points, actually. That would have made me look like a genius. But the game knew I was catching on. They had to throw me off their trail. But just you wait. It'll happen. Our next assault wave. The second that round ends, the first thing we're gonna see pop up is gonna be a max ammo. Okay. All right. This is getting kind of crazy up here. You know what, zombies? You guys can have kernels. I don't even care. No mimic. Bad. We don't need that. Crazy how we hit round 14 and all of a sudden things start falling apart. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We just might need to train until we have enough for a ring of fire. Because I was just saying how Pack-A-Punch helps us out. Giving us a, a 10 round mag. But 10 rounds is nowhere near enough. But you know what might help is getting this Pack-A-Punch too. So let's go run and do that real quick. Let's hope we don't die while we're grabbing it. There we go. No way we just went down there. All right, well, let's see if this tombstone works. So it really sucked to end this game on round 18. Wait, what? I hit tombstone and it just immediately revived me. I didn't have to go get myself at all. I was in my shadow for zero seconds. Okay, tombstone, I see you. I'll take that right back, actually. Tombstone's actually sweet. I don't know what made it glitch out like that and made it so I didn't have to revive myself, but that was pretty cool. It basically worked as like a better self-revive. I teleported away from everything. All right. Hey, look. Maybe I should have been buying Tombstone a lot more frequently whenever I was playing on like my main account. If Tombstone does more shit like that, then I'm in. Now I think we're safe to go ahead and pack a punch this. Yeah, it's nice how much money you save not buying all them perks. Because normally I wouldn't get pack 3 till like round 20 something. Like mid to late 20s maybe. I don't know. But definitely not round 19. But we do have enough to get this to purple. And still upgrade our armor. And would you look at that. We got another assault wave to do. Let's see if we can make it all the way through this one. And I might as well grab this cruising missile. It'll be a nice oh shit button if we need it later. I just really wish these snipers cladded through more than 3 zombies at a time. That would completely shift the meta in zombies. And it would make training, like, very viable. Because imagine just, like, getting a whole train of zombies. Like, and then you just use, like, a Swiss. One bullet, you kill 40 of them. Especially that plus Shatter Blast. That'd be unstoppable. I guess Shatter Blast kind of already does that, but... You know, to do it minus it, like, no Shatter Blast on, would be crazy. There's one well-placed shot. Oh, I did not mean to throw that nade, but honestly, probably help me out here. Because we are about to lose this Aether Reactor. Well, at least the first part of it. Actually, this is probably better because more zombies are distracted hitting this one than they are the other one. It actually kind of worked out. Well, this is what I'm talking about right here. We just picked up that max ammo. This next zombie is going to drop a max ammo. Oh, it's a nuke. See, they're listening to me. Every other time it'll drop a max ammo. They're trying to make me look dumb. I know y'all have seen it. I know it's real. I'm not crazy. They switched the numbers. 12, 16. One after Magna Carta. How could I ever forget? Oh, um, we're only at 750 crits with this? We got a long way to go. We're literally a quarter of the way there. And we're struggling. But uh, we are at 1,500 normal kills. So that's a, a positive, I guess. Oh, motherfucker. All right, well, let's see if Tombstone uh, works for me again. Okay, nope. It actually wants to do the proper thing. And that might get me killed. No, it won't, actually. I'm the greatest of all time. Nothing can stop me. Oh, let's go. Oof. I made it right back out the window, too. That's, that was like a once-in-a-lifetime glitch with Tombstone. No way in hell I can replicate that. Oh, um, we're about to go down again. Ooh, barely made it out. Almost right into the grasp of a mangler, though. Yeah, Colonel's office. Not very safe. At least not for this gun. I think I might just have to train for this whole challenge. That's going to add on even more time. This is where the suffering starts. As if it already hasn't began. Halipad, here I come. I just need to find a good spot to use Ring of Fire at in this halipad. Because here, training is real easy. There's not a whole lot of places that zombies don't spawn at. They're, they spawn all along this wall. Over here by this little car. I need something that can kind of funnel them in. I should also probably grab Tombstone while we're right here. And actually, the good thing about this uh, challenge is that we don't really need to buy our perks back too much. Like, literally only two perks back every time we go down. And that's Tombstone and Stamina Up. And Tombstone's right here where we're going to be training at. And Stamina Up's not too far away. I'm just going to go right here for it. All right, I think I have a decent train here. A few stragglers, but they'll all get in line. And I'm thinking 
as long as they all stay with it. But I could just go right here to this jump pad and pop the ring of fire here and get my kills like this. And if shit ever goes crazy, I hit the jump pad and I'm out. That would have been nasty if I hit that shot. The only bad thing is I have to go all the way back and retrain. Okay, maybe that's not the most efficient, but it did funnel them into me safely. We just gotta fine tune the strategy. All right, let's try just doing it right next to Tombstone. A little bit better, still dangerous as shit. Heck, I shouldn't even use Ring of Fire at this point, which is a phrase I thought I'd never say in my life. What the hell was that sound? It was like a duck trapped in the dark aether. I've never heard that before in my life on this map. A lot of weird shit's happening in this game and I'm not liking it. Well, so much for my oh shit button because I've completely forgot to hit it. Zombies, go fuck off over there. And let's hope it doesn't spawn our tombstone in that area. Oh, even worse. We're in that area and underneath. Actually, you know what? Clean. We got over everything and we are safe. There's Orda. All right, before he gets here, we finally have enough to grab a self revive. So I'm doing that. And I can also upgrade my armor. We're ready for you, Orda. Ring of fire and all. Go ahead and come on down, you big fuck. No attachments, no perks. It do not matter. We might have popped the ring of fire a little too early, but it's whatever. Got a little excited. Looks like we're doing 6,000 damage per bullet though. Pretty decent. Probably should have bought ammo before doing this. Well, that sucks. Could have got a few extra shots in there if I would have thought ahead a little bit. Like, even the slightest amount of thinking, I, I probably got a, a lot more damage in there. Oh, and now he's critting and I'm not even reloaded. Ooh, 11,000 per crit hit. Just gonna need to get a few more crits. And they're already destroying my reactor. This is fucked. I just need to get a ring of fire. You know what? Actually, let's take out some of these zombies real quick. That's a decent amount. And let's fly right into Orda. I went right in between his legs. Dick shot. Ooh, Mimic, put me down. Okay, that's all the nades I have. And I still don't have a ring of fire yet. Come on, dude. Don't do me like this. There's the crit I'm looking for. Got him to half health, but he's also got my reactor to half health. With way more zombies on the way. You know what? If we don't kill him, we might as well take this time to get a few crits. Because he's about ready to take this thing over. All right, let's just ring of fire. Just because. Maybe we can stop him. Yeah, it's not looking like it. Fuck. Well, that sucks. You win this round, Orda, but we'll be more prepared next time around. Oh, my Lanta. Well, at least we got a self-revive this time around. And all we got to do is buy Tombstone back and we're chilling. Should probably use my Tesla store more often. Okay, maybe even more often than that. Oh, why would they Tombstone me all the way over here? I can't even buy doors in the shadow. I have to run so far. Come on. We got it. Barely. Got a level up from it. And then immediately smacked to death by a mangler. Oh, we are so far away from getting this done too. But here's our final stats for our first game. All right, let's see how close we were to getting this done. Need about 80 more normal kills. Still need a thousand crits. Oh, we didn't even have all of our jackrabbits done. Okay, so it's probably good that we died because uh, I didn't see ourselves getting any more jackrabbits that game. Still a lot more to do though. And this is going to take a bit. Oh, there's our rotten camo. All of our kills are now done. Just gotta do a shit ton of everything else. Oh, there we go. All of our jackrabbits are done. Don't gotta worry about those anymore. Fuck off. No way I died again. I should just use my self-revive. I don't know why I tried a tombstone. I guess we're restarting one more time. Oh, there's our pack-a-punch kills. All we need is crits now. Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go. It only took me three hours of doing this, but we got it done. I thought it being semi-automatic would make it a little bit faster, but uh, turns out this gun don't care. Neither do the zombies. Like, actually, they don't care. Can you guys please, like, uh, kill me so I can get out of here? There we go. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Let's tombstone real quick and see if they'll take me out one more time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And our final stats for our like, third game, 678 kills, 582 crits, no revives, two downs. Whew. All right, let's just make sure that we got it really quick. All right, cool. We actually only need one more sniper to get Plague Diamond. Let's go. 
That'll be our first Plague Diamond on this account. Well, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what Gold Viper looks like there. And surprise, surprise, it looks like shit. Honestly, the coverage isn't terrible. Kind of wish it was on the scope, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Actually, I think it might be on the scope on PC. I, I felt like I, I remember getting comments about that back in the day when we were grinding this, like probably the first time, but definitely missing some uh, textures here on the scope. I think I can make it a lot better, but glad to have it done. And we're just one sniper away from having that class done. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Go ahead and leave your suggestions down below. Uh, please be a little bit nicer this time around. Uh, this one was a little bit rough, but you know what? I'll just do whatever, you know, whatever you guys wanna see. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.